Hello, this is Bob Trogglestead here, and welcome back to my Hardcore Let's Play Season 3 world. And, uh, this is right after killing the Ender Dragon, but look at our levels. We need to get a lot of enchantments going, so I'm going to take all these and see what's up. Also, I brought this bow just in case. Flame 1, already have it on this guy. I almost called him Hinokin, but no. Unbreaking 3, probably not the best, because usually, uh, Knockback 2, I already have Hinokin with Knockback 2. Unbreaking 3 as well, and Unbreaking 3. I think I'm going to risk the pick, because my pick is starting to die. Wait, how many other ones do I have? Yeah, I have another one, but that one isn't as good. Let's check the boots. Unbreaking 3 as well. Hmm. Okay, what else do we need? An axe. We definitely need an axe. I just looked at my axe and the durability is way down. So let's grab one of those guys and see what's up. We're actually probably going to enchant this one. Okay, you in there. Unbreaking three, I know. Let's grab 16 of these. Where'd my axe go? I didn't pick it up. There it is. Okay. Now... X and Unbreaking 3. Efficiency 4 on Breaking 3. Nice. Compared to this Efficiency 4, we are moving up in the world. Fire Protection 3. No, thank you. Efficiency 4. Efficiency 4. A book is Feather Falling 4. It's a very useful book. I'm going to take it. Feather Falling 4. Okay, what's the next book? Efficiency 3, no thank you. Punch 1, nah. Protection thing 3, no. Unbreaking 3. How's our shovel doing? Do we even need another shovel? Not really. Unbreaking 3. That's all it is, Unbreaking 3? No, that pick sucks. Okay, Unbreaking 3. Efficiency 4. And what's the book at? Bane of Arthropods. No thank you. And punch one. So I'm going to take the risk with this armor then. Unbreaking three. Only unbreaking three. You got to be kidding me. Ugh. That sucks. It's a waste of eight diamonds right there. Gosh. Smite. Efficiency. Efficiency four and breaking three. That's way better than this pickaxe with fo or this one with fortune on it. I need to go grab some more. Oops. Get back up there. I need to grab some more of this lapis, which is actually in the basement. I'm going to finish off these levels off camera. I'll show you what I got when I get done, and then we're going to start working on a new project that's gonna be awesome so I'll see you guys then okay guys I am back and this is the area we're gonna be building in today so I wanted to get some area you can already see there's a lot of stuff in my inventory I'm gonna have to clean that out before we actually begin because there's gonna be another cut because I just wanted to show you the insane amount of crafting I'm going to have to do for this project insane amount of crafting Okay, so once we get that torch back where it was, let's go, that's that's the correct spot, right? Yep, it is. You see this? I need 40 dispensers. Dispensers, not droppers. I assure you, it has to be dispensers. So there's 40 bows right there. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get my crafting ready. I'm breaking these. I'm in the middle of them, and now I need to use all of these as much as possible. Okay, 32, 32, and then put this here, and then this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So hit Control 5, or Shift 5. No, shift 5 up here. I'll take one of these out and put that there. 
shift 5 shift 5 and this is what I have to do for 40 dispensers and I'm planning on making this build whatever I'm doing here I'm planning on making this another floor so that means I need Oops. That means I need another 40 of these dispensers. Yeah, that's a lot of string. I used up all my string. I actually had to go and fight some skeletons to do so. So, that wasn't very fun, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to get... Dang it! Stupid chests! Okay, are we now in the home stretch? I don't believe so. I don't think there's 10 in our inventory. We must have dropped some somewhere where we can't reach them. Darn. Okay. So we almost was, were able to do it in one crafting window. Let's see. How many did we not get? This sucks. Crafting dispensers is the worst. We didn't get two. Where are those two? All the way over there. Okay. So all I have to do is this, put these here, avon, and two, yay. Okay, now we can put this double chest back and put all our crap in here. So we're going to need this stone, and these, that, that, the rest I don't really need. So I'm going to start putting stuff away, but first, um, I'm going to craft the rest on off camera because I just wanted to show you that 40 dispensers I had to make 40 of those stupid bows oh and they don't stack that's the only problem but anyway here is what I enchanted I only enchanted two books while you're gone um, it was a knockback book and an unbreaking three books so the first thing I did is put it on here combined all my stuff so we have the best bow in the game besides punch we could do better with punch but I think that's as good as we're gonna get for now and then I also put the protection 4 book on there so once we run out of this guy here um, which shouldn't be long at all we'll be able to put the other armor on which is actually better than this one cause this um, thorns is really good but it like, I saw a few times while re-watching the footage of the Ender Dragon fight that it actually, the Ender Dragon actually took some Thorns damage. But, you know, it's not, it's not huge. It doesn't really matter. So, I'm going to craft a whole bunch of stuff again. And I'll see you back when we have all the materials to make the first floor. Just the first. So, yeah. I'll see you then. Hello, this is Bob Trugglestead, and I don't have my mic. Oh, yes, I do have my mic on. Sweet. Okay. So, this is the little floor plan I laid out. Because right here, we're going to need some space for a, a road here and through here. I want the roads to be 3x3 three three once we actually get the city. Or at least a little town type of thing set up. But... We're going to take our dispensers and we're going to put them in this three or six by six, I should say, hole. Now, unfortunately, we can't do anything with the light being off. Actually, it's not all 40 dispensers we're going to be using. If you did the math in your head, three by th or six by six is 36. Oh, no, misplaced block here. But you, uh, it was so annoying having to get 40 bows in one place. But I was talking to my f cousin, Captain Icebow, earlier today. And he's like, what? You, you're pulling out 40? I had to do 500 for one project one time. Which, I haven't usually done projects that big before, so I wouldn't know what that's like. Now, underneath of here, we're going to do the redstone real quick. So we're going to need 
let's just do the redstone with cobblestone. Because I know I build with stone brick more than I do cobblestone. And we need these torches, these, and this. Okay. So we'll go underneath. Two underneath, that is. And that's all that needs to be dug is two. Okay, is that another one? Yep. One more. One more. Nope. Okay. So then we'll put a torch here and go six that way. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, four, five, six. And this will be the underground redstone portion. Now with this underground redstone portion, I've already seen the de I've already made the design in creative, so I know exactly how I'm going to how I'm going to power a six by six floor of they of these things here, whatever they're called, dispensers. I actually have never done that before, or something similar to it. So it goes, once I get all this stuff out of my inventory, okay, need this, and these, okay, perfect. We need this here, and these here. You can hear them start going. And then, so right here in this corner, we're going to put, oh, excuse me, sorry, this is actually wrong. I take it back. We're actually going to use these middle four. We're going to put the blocks right there on top. I think that's how it goes. Let me look. Yes, that's correct. And then these go here. Because these will only hit those middle four and that's it. And also, we needed to dig three down instead of two. That was my mistake. I had the screenshot pulled up, so I just looked at that real quick. And that's the reason I knew we were wrong for the design that I had set up. I mean, you could do it any way you wanted to. This is just the way that I'm going to do it. It's a simple way that I figured out. Now this right here, this corner, if we power... Oops. If we power the dispenser directly with a torch, so right here, it will dispense here, 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 and here, and here. So like a little cross. So that's what we want to do. Get all those out of the way. Then we're going to do that for this as well. Just like this. So now, let's take a look at my screenshot real quick and see what's next. Okay. So now, we need the these two here, and this here. And this is going to be all the redstone, or at least where the blocks are powered, because these are the last ones we needed. I tried to do this with the minimal amount of redstone just because, and... It's very cramped when doing it in survival, let me tell you. So next thing I'm going to do is put all the stuff down, all the repeaters. So let's put it here, 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 and here so all those get powered. And we'll take these blocks away. We don't need them. Or do we? Let's look. We don't, actually. And I used slabs. So let's break this and go up and get some slabs. Or make them, at least, with this stuff. Because the slabs are very important. It helps me save redstone. It makes it look better for me, at least, so I can tell what the heck is going on. And I need to dig this more out, so I'll be right back when I dig this out. Okay, so it actually turns out that I only need, like, one more block. <laughs> I don't know why I did that voice, but I did. Wait, we do need two. Oh, well. I'll finish that later. So, what we need is blocks here and here. Oops. 
I'm misplacing the blocks all over the place. It's so dumb. And we want the blocks here. Actually, I've been placing those wrong the entire time. Darn, this is why redstone in survival, it's so difficult to do. Because you're getting in these cramped areas. You don't know where to go. You don't know how to do things. I mean, you do know how to do things, but I don't know. It's just more difficult to mo maneuver around. Because now it's very difficult for me to see what's next. So if I look on my screenshot, the next thing I need to do is connect a corner to these slabs. Might as well block up and jump up there just to show you. And then it's boom. Oops. Take that torch away. It's this, and then these two, if I'm correct here. Which I am. So that's the pattern for those. And they'll connect with redstone, and I'll probably do that off camera. And then show you the final product next time. Also, I'll show you how these get connected right here. I'm double checking on the screenshot so I don't mess up. These are connected by a repeater there, then a piece of redstone here. And then if we dig in one, there would be one here, a piece of redstone, and then redstone here. So you kind of get that effect that that goes over there. And then, let's see. Yeah, and then this comes over like this and connects there actually it would connect there so I'd have it come out like this and then go in here right here boom just like that so that's how that mechanism works and that's just repeated four times on all sides I'm not gonna do the whole thing right now on camera because it's annoying to do on camera it's weird but as you can see those are six by six dispensers it looks so cool right there I'm actually just gonna place a torch on top for now so nothing spawns actually a few but the next part of the design is oops oh woo woo what's happening there okay so this is where the obsidian is gonna go right so then we need two more blocks above and this is the middle right here so two more blocks and then one above our heads so we gotta go up again to place these dispensers and this is where the dispensers the top the last four dispensers in the 30 or in the 40 not 30 which are in the chest these are gonna go here and a vertical transistor from I believe it's this direction or this direction it doesn't really matter which direction I'll see which one I have more room for that's gonna go there and redstone will go right here to all four of them and those are gonna be our water buckets so it goes down the water goes down hits the lava and it's gonna make obsidian at this level right here so I'm actually gonna show you this in creative we can go there right now my redstone so you can get the full idea all open not inside so you you can actually see what's going on so let's go to redstone and see what I'm talking about so right here here it is it's very simple. This is the redstone I just showed you, just better visualized. So it goes to there, connects. These all connect in four different ways to lead. And then the vertical transistor is at the very last little connector thing. And that goes up to here where it's on a two repeater delay. It goes right there. So if these did have lava buckets in them, which I will only get about nine or two that works too 
So we've put two lava buckets in here. You can see how it works. And that's very simple. All you have to do... Okay, sorry for the interruption. But what you do is you hit this button. The lava comes out. And it's so fast that even if you don't do a full 36, that the lava is still doesn't flow enough to make cobblestone which would be a pain to get rid of and then you just hit the button again to make the water go away also if you saw that little splash there both of the buckets got dispensed for some reason I don't know what happened to the other one but the di the buckets get dispensed as well maybe it fell somewhere no it didn't huh that's weird it just vanished Actually, it's in my inventory now. <laughs> but yeah, the buckets come out so you don't have to play some again. And this ender chest is where I'd get it from in the nether base. Where we're collecting all the lava. But I'm going to finish this off camera because it's a lot of redstone. Redstone on camera isn't that good unless I already know what I'm doing and stuff. Or I'm just making it up on the spot. It's not really complicated, which this is. Because if you look, these do that cross, like I said, and then the rest of these pretty much do the excess of them, which is why this is so big. I don't know if there's a better way to do it, because if these cross ones, these, these ones that cross, if they overlap, then the lava gets taken back, because it gets another pulse. So unfortunately, I can't just make them all powered by redstone torches so I decided to go this route which is pretty fun I love redstone challenges and uh, I will see you guys next time for the next episode I'm gonna call it here hope you enjoyed see you guys next time